A Southgate woman is looking for some advice tonight after her car has been repeatedly hit by squirrels. The furry fellas keep crawling inside and chewing up the wires. As Nick Monticelli reports, it is more common than you might think. Well, you know it's not that uncommon for squirrels or rodents of any kind to try to find someplace warm overnight during these cold winter nights. However, it is strange for them to target the same vehicle, not once, not twice, but three different times, chewing through several different wires. Down. Well, you can't get to it down in here for the windshield washer fluid. Karen George is a fairly patient woman, but this is testing that. Squirrels have chewed wires on her SUV not once, not twice, but three times. Her son first noticed the problem when her headlight was out. Karen, who's also on the city council, had it fixed, and then the same thing happened. And now? My windshield spritzers don't work, which at this time of year you really need them, you know, and you can't drive without a headlight or you'll get a ticket. My neighbor's car, uh, the squirrels got into his gas line. The number of nests in the trees prove the problem. There are squirrels on her Southgate Street everywhere, and at night, they need a warm place to stay. My husband has trapped 22 squirrels and taken them to the park. Maybe we should put orange spray on their tails so we can find out if they're coming back. If they are not coming back, there must be a lot of them. Hey, you, I see you eyeing the livestock over there. Off limits. Besides a good scolding, experts say mothballs or deterrent spray might work, but the only real solution is to park in the garage, unless, of course, you have rodents in there. Now, ironically, this band of squirrels targeted Karen's escape, but right next door, they hit that escape as well. I'm thinking maybe Forward has a new ad campaign in the making. In Southgate, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Wires taste good. Stop making wires that <laughs> taste like they're dipped in chicken fat or something. Uh, one more tip, if you experience something like this, make sure you call your insurance company. Karen's, fortunately, is paying for all the repairs. Aww.